Morning, Brother Betty. Morning, Brother Anthony. I lost sight of you for a bit. I was yeah. looking all over and I didn't look to my regular place. Speaking about looking, well, not speaking about looking, but the, you know, the last time we was talking about uh, uh, this, in, at least in, in the United States, this is November's election month or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and I was advocating, I don't know what I was advocating, whatever I was advocating. But I have something else here. You know, there's this movement now that to just not vote. You, know, you don't want to vote because it doesn't matter who you vote for because the money and the interest, you know, trumps everything anyway. So your little vote don't count. And, and people don't want to take the time for a little uh, research for their own participatory democracy, is what I called it the last time. Mm -hmm. You know, find out what's going on so they can vote, you know, third party or vote for real or whatever it is. They think their vote counts and all that stuff, but it doesn't, of course. But anyway, but I don't, I'm not, some people advocate and don't, don't, don't vote. I said, no, no. I'm not going to either way vote or don't vote. But what I think everyone should always do is you need to register to vote. Mm. You don't have to vote, mm. but register to vote. Now, when in the United States, what happens if you register to vote, then you become part of the jury pool. Well, that'll keep your, your boys out of jail, I guess. You should be a part of the jury pool. We won't get into that right now. But here's the thing about registering. That means you have the potential to vote. Mm -hmm. If they look at your neighborhood and they say, hey, wait a second. Everybody in this neighborhood is registered to vote, but they don't vote. Okay, we'll ignore that. But wait a second, maybe we shouldn't ignore that because if we try to ignore them and then they get riled up, then some, you see how that works? But here's my thing. Any strategy, I can never hear strategy and tactics from people. You know what I mean? The, last, the only strategy I know of the last 40 years has been what's called, and I guess in the United States, it's called the Republican Party, but it's not really it's the rich people, rich people's strategy. Let's put it that way. In other words, you have a small group of people that have that are dogged on one thing, and because everybody else are concerned about everything, they get their thing through while sniping at your other things, and then things don't get done. I mean, this is let me put it this way: here's how it started. And, you know, here's, here's my thing. I gotta go from my perspective. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm a blame the victim here. <laughs> I know that I'm gonna blame, blame, blame the victim. I'm gonna blame the victim. It's all black people's fault. That's right. Mm. African Americans, black people in the United States, it's their fault. I'm gonna tell you why. I know you're trying to say, what are you talking about? You're black, you're saying it's your fault that you know this world is the way it is today? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And the reason why I'm saying this, just to give my little narrow point of view, what happened is the powers that be somewhere in the 70s there, they realized, you know, all these black people and, and, and these, these other outliers or you know, people on the outside of the thing, they're getting a lot of power, but they're being helped by, you know, Congress and also, more importantly, the Supreme Court, the court system. Because, you know, they, they have the laws and then you can't go against the law and they, they say, hey, but your law says blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's even a case, it's, it's, every once in a while it happens, that they want to bring the United States up on charges of genocide to the United Nations, genocide of black people. Hey, I agree with that. It was the, from my understanding, started with uh, actually with Paul Robeson. And, and Malcolm X championed it and other people, you know, after that. But what I'm saying is they realized that the court system, so what did they do? They started the strategy, a long-term strategy. So in the 70s, what they started to do is they identified people in law school and formed little clubs, you know, and mm -hmm. say, hey, to be a part of this club, you have to have a certain mentality. So people said, okay, fine, I don't care, I want to make some more money. So that's what happened. Then what happens is now you have all these reactionary, all these people that are old, that had had owing to you know their their ascension to whatever through this club in their in their college or whatever whatever university, and then they become the, they become the judges, hmm. you know, with that same backwards mentality or being you know influenced by the people these clubs that they form, it's ideology. And ideology has nothing to do with morality or anything like that. Plus, if you have a whole lawyer class, these are all lawyers. They have a certain way. They don't care about laws, right or wrong. It's like who wins the case. So the problem is the government is running by people who, who want to win rather than who want to do. Mm. They want to win, mm -hmm. not do. Mm. You see? Mm. And that's the problem. That is the biggest problem. So my thing is, well, since they got the Supreme Court sold up and they got the Congress and the, everybody's bought off, whatever have you, and I was mentioning the last time, you got to go on a state level or a real local level, and people are too not interested in doing that. Well, you ain't got no strategy and tactic, which means that, hey, you, something's, something's going to happen to you because you ain't got nothing, you ain't got no strategy and tactic. So you're going to be strategized and tactic. <laughs> you're going to be tactic 
rather than you attacking, you're going to be tactic. You see, there's the problem. Hey, you want to be lazy? Don't want to do it? Hey, don't do nothing. But at least register to vote. That's mm. what I say. That's my only strategy. Register to vote. I don't know. I have another strategy. My thing is change the whole economic system. Go to you know alternative currency. Go to go to the blockchain. I know we talk about this. This personified by Bitcoin, whatever have you. But take us take the money out of it. Get, don't, don't don't support. The, I'm just going to keep on rambling because I'm I'm upset the way the world is going. Maybe one more thing. Let me just say. Can I just talk to people who were born between 1940 and 1970? 30 year period, 1940 and 1970. Or you find people's born between 1940 and 1970, you owe it to yourself to actually do something about the planet you have been on for all these years. Don't let them take this planet away from you. Don't let them take any, anything away from you. Plan your strategy and tactic and work it out. That's what I say. That's what they, because this is a dispatch from the arts director emeritus, that would be me, T, for the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm.